Hey everyone, welcome to today's video. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. I'm going to be showing you guys how I made these acrylic pores and everything you'll need for it. And I hope you guys enjoyed just as much as I did. I have all of my ingredients here. These are my acrylic paints that I'm going to be using white, yellow, blue, red, and green. And then <laughs> we have some Floetrol, which I'm actually, this is the first time I'm going to be using this one. I actually didn't know that this painting was going to have cells, but turns out it did, and I'm pretty sure it was the Floetrol that did that. But this is basically going to thin the paint so that it flows better, kind of like oil paint. Then we have some PVA glue. We have water. My cups, where I'm going to be whoops, mixing together my paint. And then I have a larger cup, which is the one I'm going to be like lifting, dumping like that. And then I have my measurement, which is going to be a tablespoon. It doesn't really matter what measurement, just as long as you keep it consistent. And then I have this little stick to mix it all together. So first, what I'm going to do is mix up my paint. And I'll do one to show you guys what the measurements are. Okay, so I'm going to take one of my small cups. Oops, I need my glue as well. And my... Floetrol. So I want to make it kind of pastel. So I'm going to use just about one tablespoon. It's not going to be perfect because I don't want it to be that dark. That's good enough. And every. Oops, probably should not put that there. Okay, every item that we're going to be using is going to be triple of whatever measurement, but then only one for the float roll. So that means, because I'm making my own color, that means three of paint, which can be one of the color and then two of white, one of my float roll, three of PVA glue, and three of water of whatever measurement it is. And you can always use, use bigger or smaller depending on the canvas that you're gonna use. And this is actually going to be my canvas, which I forgot to show you guys, but I'm just reusing something and that's okay because we're gonna cover it anyways. And next, I'm going to measure out my white. because those colors are shoot I messed up <laughs> I totally messed up okay next I'm going to be measuring out my floor troll three of PVA glue. Now that we have all that done, I'm going to measure out three of my water and then I can go ahead and mix it. Now I probably could have gotten a bigger cup because this little guy is about to overflow. You want to give this a good mix so that when you pour it, it doesn't come out all chunky. Okay, once you've mixed it all together, you should have a pretty thin mixture. And now we're going to go ahead and do the rest of our colors. Okay, for this color, I'm going to only do one white and one yellow because I don't know exactly how dark I want it to be or how it's going to come out, actually. So, after I mix it all and I see if I want more of one or the other color, 
and I can go ahead and do that because on the green one, I accidentally did two white and one green, so it's very pale now. So I might remake this one. For this one, I actually really like this color and it's coming out a lot brighter on camera than it is. But, because I like it how it is, I'm just gonna do half of my white acrylic paint. And half of my yellow acrylic paint. Oh no. I go ahead and mix this one again. Okay, now I'm going to be doing blue. And since this is a pretty bright color, I, just like I did with the yellow, I'm going to do one of each acrylic and then mix it and see if I want it lighter or darker or if I want it the same like I did with the yellow. But we'll go ahead and do the same process again. I'm gonna mix this up and I'll see whether I want more blue or white. So this color is a little lighter than I want it to be. So I'm going to measure out once again, one more tablespoon, but I'm going to do more blue in this than white, but not all blue because I don't want it to over, to be too dark because it still should be a pastel. I'm going to mix it up and then I'll see whether I want more of this or more of that. So I quite like this color, how it is right now, but I think I'm going to do half and half again, just like the other ones. <laughs> this is my last color and it's, I really like this color, it's kind of peachy, a little brighter in person than it is coming up on camera but that is all of our measurements i'm actually gonna see if i can fix this green or if i have to remake it i got this darker green because that other one was pretty light i'm just gonna add a little bit and see i don't really know if it did much but that's what we're gonna be working with right now. So these are my colors and I might make a white with the same solution, but we'll see. I'm gonna go ahead and move these things out of the way, bring my canvas in, and then we can go ahead and get started on pouring. I have this palette and what I'm gonna try to do is move this around, but keep it in there and that's exactly why i have this down so that if paint does fall i can just go ahead and throw this whole thing away but i'm gonna need a way bigger cup than this so i'm gonna go ahead and grab that okay so here i'm just mixing up a white so that we can do it in between the colors and have some variety now we're ready <laughs> i have my big cup here and what we're gonna do is alternate with these colors do a color and then some white and then the next color and some white the next color some white the next color some white and then again until I have run out 
of all my paint. And you can do this in any order that you want, unless you have a specific order that you want to do, like a rainbow or something. But I'm just gonna do mine random. basically at the top of the cup now so I have to stop I don't know if this is gonna to be too much for my canvas but we'll see <laughs> okay this is I really like how the colors look together combined and I'll go ahead and set up so we can get started and I'll show you guys the process now what we're gonna do is we'll place the cup like this and flip it over really quickly and then lift up. I'm gonna need a little mental preparation for this. <laughs> oh jeez Louise. Oh no. today's video leave a comment below if you guys enjoyed this video and if you do make one of your own acrylic pours make sure to post it on instagram and tag me at mochi hippo so i can go ahead and like it don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed as well and comment and subscribe and i'll see y'all in my next one bye mm -hmm.